part seven of our APA MLA research writing presentation class. So today we're going to be looking at something we all have inside of our research that is tables and figures. It can get a little bit confusing, but let's jump right into it. The first and most important basic idea is all tables need to be numbered, all figures need to be numbered. And how do you number them? You're going to use Arabic numerals and you're going to do that from one all the way two, three, four, up to the number of tables and figures you have. Of course, what we mean to say is one, two, three, etc. in order. So your tables will be in one order, your figures will be in another uh, order, one and up also. You may have other things like equations and formulas that you also can do that. When you refer to your tables or when you label them, you do not use a suffix. Instead, you use the number to call them out. So for example, you say C figure one, C figure two, C table three. So you don't use fig, you don't use T-A-B. Instead, you write them out as in here, the full Arabic, uh, the Arabic number with the full English word. Table five, table six, table seven, figure five, etc. Now, one issue that is easy to forget about is that we may be using tables or figures that come from another author's publication. And that's very troublesome because that could be copyrighted. So what can you do about that? Well, the easy thing to do is contact the copyright holder. So if you see a table or a figure and you're going to use it in your research, and it's very common, you can compare my research to this research or my research is building on that research. You probably can easily shoot off an email to the publisher and they know how to deal with it and they will give you permission or tell you what you need to do. Another thing you could do is you could shoot off an email to the author or authors of that paper and see what they say who the copyright holder is. You at least need to check if you're using somebody's work. So if you're going to adapt something or if you're going to copy directly something, for example, a questionnaire, test items, um, you got to be careful because they could be copyrighted. In fact, it's sometimes surprising to students to learn that many surveys or test instruments are copyrighted. They're not just open for you to reproduce or copy even a piece of them. So you could get in a lot of trouble legally doing that. So what's the minimum you need to do? Minimum is you need to include a note. And a note will do what? A note will say something like, this table is adapted, adopted from, or this table is an adaptation of, and you label who did it come from, what was the article it came from, what was the journal, who was the author, that kind of thing. That's the minimum you need to do. Uh, you need to give credit, of course, where credit is due. So you need to say that this idea even, if it's just an idea or a very general kind of adaptation, that is, maybe you draw the table very different, maybe you draw the figure very differently, but still the idea comes from another person, and you at least need to give credit on that. And that would be a note to what we'll talk about a little bit later.